Hello everyone, and welcome to the second <clears throat> part two of uh, the second Arduino tutorial about making an LED fade up and down using pulse width modulation. In the first tutorial, I showed you how to use um, PWM and the code to make an LED go through all of the values instead of just um, anal uh, digital ones and zeros. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to wire it up and actually make it work. Now, <clears throat> for this tutorial, you're going to need a breadboard, an LED, you can use the same one as you used for uh, the Blink tutorial. A breadboard, which you can get from Radio Shack or SparkFun.com or Fry's or anything like that. And then a jumper cable, or two jumper cables. Doesn't matter the color, and they're actually just pieces of wire, but uh, SparkFun sells some really nice quality ones. <clears throat> and uh, the breadboard is used for prototyping and for uh, making non-permanent connections when you're just uh, trying to you know, try something out, which is what we're doing today. And the unique thing about breadboard is when you're looking this way, everything connected in the same row is connected together. It's shorted together. So it allows you to make connections that might, dif might be difficult otherwise. In uh, the Blink tutorial, we used pin 13 and connected the ground, which was right next to each other, so there was no problem. But in this tutorial, we're using pin, nine <coughs> pin number 9 all the way over here because it's a pulse width modulation pin. So without bending our LED, um, we need to jump, we have the positive end go over here and the ground or the negative end go over here. So we're going to use that breadboard. I've drawn a picture of what it should look like with your positive end going this side down to pin number 9 and your negative end going down to ground. So let's wire this up. And take your LED, making sure that you take the longer end or the positive end and stick that into the breadboard. Make sure you know which side is positive. I put it on the right hand side just so that it matches up with my picture. Then I'm going to take the red jumper. Remember it doesn't matter, it just matters uh, because I want it to be consistent with the color of my picture. And I'm going to stick it in the same row. I can actually stick it here or here or here or here, anywhere I want because as long as it's in the same row, it's going to be jumped. And then I'm going to plug that into pin number 9. And <coughs> so there's that. I'll pause while you do that. Now I'm going to plug in my other jumper into the negative side and then plug the other end into ground. And that's it. I've now jumped uh, the LED. The LED is still plugged in right next to each other and yet um, I've able, I'm able to jump it over all the way, you know, even though these pins are far apart, I'm able to use the breadboard and the jumper cables to jump them or short circuit them over to where they need to be. And so, that's it. That's the circuit. We're ready to go. So I'm going to plug in um, my Arduino. It's important that you don't plug in, or I found it's, it's helpful if you don't plug in the Arduino into the computer or you know anything until the end. That helps the COM ports stay open and uh, because COM ports can be tricky. So I'm now going to plug it into the computer. And I'm going to plug it in over here now. All right. And you'll know it's working because you'll have your LED here. If you're asked to install drivers, just get those. Um, get the newest Arduino copy. And uh, if you're an if you're using an older Arduino board, which the Uno is the newest as of now, um, then you know get the correct drivers. But if everything's good to go so far, then just go to Tools and double check that your board does say the board that you're using. So in this case, the Uno for us. And then go down to the serial port and make sure that the communication port is, it's usually the highest one. So for me, it's COM port 8. For you, it might be something else. Um, and sometimes it's not the highest port. You'll just have to try it out. But there's nothing, uh, nothing bad is going to happen if you choose the wrong one. So I'm going to keep it on COM port 8 because I believe that's what it's going to use. I've got my, I have my uh, fade code opened up once again by getting files, file, examples, basics, and fade. But I've already got that open. I'm going to compile the code. And it says it's compiling. It'll tell me when it's done and also tell me the size of the file. Now I'm ready to upload that. And if it doesn't give me any errors, we'll be ready to go. It looks like it's going to work, and there it goes. Um, so maybe kind of hard to tell on the video, but you can see that the LED is actually fading in and out. Fading in and out. 
just like a, a MacBook or anything else. But this is using Pulse with modulation. It's still digital. It's still on and off, but it's um, changing the cycles very quickly in order to make it look like, at least to us, trick us into thinking that it's um, going through all the cycles. So that's it. If, uh, if for some reason your LED is not lighting up, um, if you're getting an error down here, change the COM port. Double check that your COM port's correct. Maybe try unplugging and replugging in the Arduino from the computer and then the cable from the computer as well just to reset the COM port. Um, you could try opening and closing Arduino if that helps. But if you're not getting an error and it says that it uploaded and your LED is still not lighting up, double check that you have um, it all wired up. You can look at the picture here and just double check that. The positive end goes to pin number 9 and the negative end goes to the ground. If you don't have that if you don't have that plugged in correctly, it's not going to work. The LED will only work one way. So make sure that that happens. Okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.